Hello everyone, welcome back to MathMind. In today's video, we're looking to find the values of two variables x and y connected in an equation of fraction. When we're dealing with this kind of questions, the general approach is to turn this into a product of two numbers which is equal to a certain value. In other words, we are going to be doing factorization. So how do we go about doing that? Let's first write down our equation. I have 1 over x plus 1 over y plus 1 over xy is equal to 1 over 3. The first thing that we need to do is to find some sort of common denominator. We can do that by multiplying 3xy on both sides. So we now have 3x plus 3y plus 3 is equal to xy on the right hand side. If we rearrange the equation, it now becomes xy minus 3x minus 3y is equal to 3. If we focus on this part right here, we can take x as the common factor and multiply by y minus 3 in the bracket and minus 3y that's equal to 3. From here we need to figure out a way to turn this into something that looks like a multiplied by b is equal to c. We can do that by adding a substitution. Let's go ahead and try that. I'm going to write this as x, y minus 3 minus 3y plus 9 is equal to 3 plus 9. Obviously, the plus 9 is the new substitution that I just introduced. When we do that, I can rewrite the left-hand side as x, y minus 3 minus 3 y minus 3, that's equal to 12. I have y minus 3 in the bracket as the common term. So now on the left hand side, I can write this as x minus 3, y minus 3 equals to 12. From here, we need to think about how many different combination of numbers that, can, that we can use to come up with a product of 12. I have 1 times 12 or 12 times 1. I can also have 2 times 6, 6 times 2. And the last one being 3 times 4 and 4 times 3. Let's go ahead and try each one of them out. The first combination, 1 and 12. I have x minus 3 equal to 1, x equal to 4. y minus 3 equals to 12, y equals to 15. And then I have the inverse 12 and 1. x minus 3 equals to 12, x equals to 15. Obviously, y minus 3 equals to 1, y equals to 4. That will be the answer for our first combination. x can be either 4 or 15, y can be either 15 or 4. Let's go ahead and try the second combination. 2 and 6. x minus 3 equal to 2, x is equal to 5. y minus 3 equal to 6, y is equal to 9. Let's try the reversed. I now have 6 and 2. x minus 3 equal to 6, x is equal to 9. 
y minus 3 equals to 2, y is equal to 5. There you have it, our second combination. x equal to 5, y equal to 9, or x equal to 9, y equal to 5. Let's move on to our final combination. I have 3 and 4. x minus 3 equals to 3, x is equal to 6. y minus 3 equal to 4, y is equal to 7. And the reverse. 4, 3. I have x minus 3 equal to 4, x equal to 7, or y minus 3 equal to 3, y is equal to 6. That is the final combination. x is equal to 6, or y and y equal to 7, or x is equal to 7, and y is equal to 6. Thank you for watching. God bless.